Hello guys and welcome back to my let's play of Borderlands. When we last saw it off we had just defeated Krom and now we are going to be moving on to kind of our next little sections of the game. <clears throat> but first we are going to be doing these two quests and after that who knows. So, I'm seeing uh, in this episode, I'm going to try something new, recording-wise, anyways, and hopefully now, uh, even though from my previous attempts so far at this, um, the game, I, why would... Uh, the game sound, you should be able to hear it, but it's probably going to be lower than my voice, so... It, it still needs to be a lot of improvements. But, hey, at least I'm making progress. And about the only actually good thing is, I actually found out a way to record the actual game sound, but then I'm going to have to figure out how to record... <clears throat> uh, well, my voice for this let's play at the same time, which just becomes more troublesome for me. Oh, st I did not know you were level 29. Sorry, <laughs> I thought they were at my level. Um, this is going to be fun. Alright, so, <clears throat> the course I have activated is activating uh, two beacons, which are littered with a lot of bandits. So, here's our first one. The North Ridge Beacon. And unfortunately, the other one, we're going to have to uh, sort of do uh, this quest. Because the other beacon is on the other side of the map, which we don't have access to quite yet. So, we're going to have to sit here and uh, do half of this quest. So, let's go head over there right now. Could do that, but not going to bother quite yet. <clears throat> we... Alright. So, just keep on following me and don't hit that. Because... Yeah, it's not nice to hit things. Alright, so just come on up here. You see that dancing little clap trap? Shoot him. Shoot them all. They're gonna Searching kill us all. <laughs> so does that mean Hel uh, Helena's gonna get her arm back? Got kind of like cloud traps. All right, um, so we're gonna switch back to that. So, just follow where I was going, and up here we're going to find our next beacon, which it has more bandits than the last one. So, we're probably going to get shot up a good amount, and we're going to get our flesh torn off and our uh, wounds salted.
I'm just gonna come over here, activate this, and uh, just keep on sitting away. All right, there we go. 3,200, yeah. Thanks for just coming a little bit closer to me. All right. Yeah, squeal before I sued you. Come on, put a little more emphasis in your squeal. I'm not satisfied with your squeal like a little girl. Alright, now that I'm concerned that you guys are probably going to be burnt to Oh, maybe not. Well, aren't you just a lucky one? You too. Or I guess not that lucky anymore. Huh. Oh yeah, this is my other character. Never mind. I was about to say, wow, there's actually a better shield than the one I have. But never mind. Alright, so uh New Haven. Alright, well we're just gonna move on to uh not that one. Uh, not this one. Actually, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I do not want to go to Old Haven quite yet. That's gonna be a uh, fun place. Fun, fun, fun place. Alright, so we're gonna go all the way back over to where we previously were and by just jumping off. And somehow landing on our tires. Awesome. Alright, so let's come back over here. Where I went briefly before we fought Krom. <clears throat> and we're gonna run on up here. Until I got stuck. And we're gonna investigate the bounty board. Why you no give me missions? Oh well. Alright, so now that we know the bounty board is... Well, broken. We're gonna go over here and talk to Mr. Jones. And now we get a new mission of finding the bounty board fuses. Which is gonna be infested with silphids. And I always hate doing this quest because I could always find at least two of the bouncy board fuses, but I could never find the final one. And then I'd sit there and look for the stupid third one for freaking ever. But now I actually know where the hell the last one is all the time. So I'm happy. Alright. So let's come on up here right where the little trash pile is and that's gonna lead us to where the bouncy board fuses are now what you're gonna want to do is come over here unplug that one whatever uh get one of them come over here do this get the second one run away like the little coward and i believe this is where the third one is yep now that we got the three of them, we don't have to worry about anything besides these flying little freakers. Come to me, my precious sisters. Let me kill you. I'll make everything easy. Especially your deaths. Because you all need to die. Freaking hate all this. And Sithards aren't even that bad, it's just more so that they're kind of fast and annoying. Especially this next one gonna be coming up. Alright, so now that we got the bounty board fuses, we're gonna light our car on fire because of the Phoenix skill and we just ran over a badass. I totally feel like a badass because of that. Yep. Alright, so we're just gonna 
move right along and we're gonna come back and talk to Mr. Jones who unfortunately we just completely missed the exit but whatever or yeah I was gonna say at least I think we talked to Mr. Jones Hello, Mr. Jones. And now we get a new quest of killing five spider ants. Lovely. Hit those little effers. Now, the spider ants are pretty close by. Just move on over here. And at some point, the spider ants are going to pop up. Okay. At some point, the spider ant. There you go. Good spider ant. Who's a good dead spider ant? Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. Thank you for showing me your tail. Oh, size. Bad king. Bad. Bad. Not supposed to come out yet. Okay. Oh, badass. Spider burner. Yeah, I don't think my Phoenix skills gonna work out nicely for him. Fortunately, my corrosive will and shock. <laughs> and a car would actually work out nicely too. Oh yeah, and if you guys haven't figured out, uh, the spider ants weaknesses are their tails. Since I'm pretty sure I probably forgot to mention that. Possibly. I don't have time for your shenanigans. Oh crap, another king. <gasps> no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill your henchlings. Didn't mean to kill you, but I obviously can't. Because they're too far away. You win this round. And I'll be back for your babies. I'm gonna kill them all. Stupid spider ant. Just too many of them. Alright, so we're gonna turn that in. And then we get a new quest of talking to Hel uh, Helena. But let's uh, put our skill point to use. Uh, shotgun pistols. Oh, I saw a rifle SMG. Alright, never mind. And now the bounty board's working, finally. And we get six new quests. We weren't using a Jacobs. And what if it did take more than one shot, huh? And I was using a Jacobs. Well, you just effed up. Yeah. Didn't think about that, now did you, Marcus? Electroid, Electroid. Alright. Alright, so where should we start? Oh, I guess we could just do this one since I don't think there's really much to it. I think it's just simply talking to her. And then I think we might get another quest, I don't know. Either way, I actually think we still need to do this uh, quest from Scooter. And the bounty board. Alright, let's see. Scooter has a new quest for us, finally. Hey, I got my eye. I'll just use what you turn, man. I don't want to gossip. <laughs> that tent is inclined to up and up, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I'll go get me one. Alright, so just turn in those two. Alright, so nothing else. Watch your back out. I swear you were supposed to get a stupid mission from these two. I don't know, maybe... You know what? We're gonna do this quest the next time. And we're probably gonna waste all the whole episode. And then some. And then some. And then some more. 
All right. So, guys, in the next episode, we are going to be doing Like a Moth to Flame. Even though that we're apparently seven levels over it, but still going to be an SOB to do. See you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and have a good day, everyone.